no it's good thoughts with that and like you said i know the, the, the stuff you've been through that and being true to yourself and it's a it kind of fits with the three stages of life that you talked about is I think it isn't until later on that you start to build up that comfort and that confidence and that courage to step into that place and be all right with you are and lean into the things that are meaningful to you rather than just certainly from my experience fitting in with the herd what's up Lee what are you, you seeing you yeah, see I'm, I'm terrible at my screen's all the way over here so I, can, I can see you doing this whole thing <laughs> so friendly comments from you from Lewis from work um Lewis. So it's good to see the passion come on thank you so much i appreciate you that's it thanks for thanks for watching 100 amazing i, I love it. this is what it's about this is what this is about step into who you are be unapologetic so long as you're doing good in the world that's the key you're helping people helping people move on helping people it's just the best thing we're all human humans we want to help each other right um and this is what this is about this is what gives me the most joy um by doing this and helping others and uh oh it's just so good to get the youtube call i love this because this is the, this is the first time i've really felt a lot of interaction right i love it i love it because i can't see that by the way but um i love it fantastic stuff i can sure it's it's there that's why i'm squinting off to the side of my screen there joe i am not not <laughs> paying attention to you no no i'll say now same it's i think there was a lot i've talked about this on other podcasts a lot me where it was almost like this urge to fit in like everyone else knew what was the right thing to wear and where to go and the cool things to do and sometimes I was on the outside looking in and I just needed to find out that secret formula that everyone else knew and then you suddenly realize that or you gradually realize that there is no such thing and you're most comfortable when you're doing what what's true to you what you like what you lean into what you want to do professionally personally people you want to associate with all of that stuff is finding that identity which i do yeah. think does come in those later or for a lot of people i would say comes in those later stages not for everyone yeah i, I wish i discovered it earlier though you know, yeah i agree 100 you know, i wish i could have i wish i could have that mindset and i was 18 but then you know maybe that's the learning right we, that's the learning we, we have to go through that learning phase the thing is um, if uh, if at then, 18 go though, if at 18 so when you're 18 back in 1937 or whatever it was yeah yeah that's um, the one and someone comes up to you and they try and impart their wisdom of don't try and fit with a crowd. Be Jose, don't be Joe. Don't worry about what they say. Be your best in football. Don't worry about standing out. Would you have taken it on board? No. That's that's no. the irony of all of this, I think. There is a, there is an interesting thing, though. If I've been coached in the way we talk about coaching, and, and would I have been open-minded? I don't know. I don't know whether I'd still be open-minded. I maybe I had to go through the depression all that stuff to, to become this person maybe that is the, the the dots looking backwards right we talk about steve jobs and what he said about looking down the mountain or looking connecting the dots backwards it wasn't it? i think that's what he, he said but i think i discovered coaching back then and someone had spoken to me not in a way in part like telling me what to do but maybe talking to me about what's the challenge right now like in a way that would speak to me as an 18 year old right because you know because you'd speak to you'd have to speak to me in a different way that i would the way I was speaking now, I'd have to speak myself in a different way than I was speaking now because I'd probably still feel struggle with it because I'd be really quite fearful of stepping into those things. So I'd need to be, it'd be very gradual. It'd be a very, quite a long process. But if I could get that mindset, it would have been, I think, an absolute game changer. But I do think some people discover it a lot earlier. But yeah, I really, the, two, well, the thing is, if, if I had discovered it earlier, the thing is, would I be the person I am now? Probably not. I'd maybe I'd be in a totally different place, potentially. So I mean, you know, I played I played bass guitar. So would I if I if I start if I just gone with what I loved, maybe I wouldn't be here. I'd be pl playing a band somewhere, doing whatever. Right? That's the irony of it. This is the whole crux of it. However, we are here now. We've got to do good things, and I'm you know I'm really really happy right now. I'm really happy. Um, and I just again reiterate that comment about you know don't you know do be who you are, who be who you are, and if you need support. You know, come over to this podcast and just listen and interact with the show. Um, you know, and Lee, you know, I've got to say to you, Lee, I want to say thank you for all the support you've given me because I know you facilitated a lot of this when I was, you know, when I used to work with when I work with you, and you know where I'm, I'm talking about. You know, you really helped a lot of those things, you know, the action steps. And that's what I needed, really. I needed that sort of just, I think someone, I think so, I needed someone, I needed someone to believe in what I believed. Because it was really rare to find that. It was really rare to find it, but you actually believed in it. And that for me, and that helped me believe in more. And then obviously doing the videos and the traction we're getting now, it's just adding to that belief system, right? Um, but I just want to say thank you for Lee for all the support. 
and, and the continued support because you help build the podcast, right? And you're still doing it. You don't have to, but you're still doing it. Um, and this for me is a brilliant thing. I want to like, I want to gather good people like yourself, like, like you are a significant figure in my life for doing this and getting this out there and doing these things and like you're doing this thing with the streaming and you know we've come up with these ideas and stuff like that I and mean, you're really supportive you're like let's have it a go at it let's try it i know you said you're the optimist and i love that yeah. and i think that's what i connect to right because you'll just give it a go let's see what happens all we can do is try right um but this stuff actually works and this has all led to this thing me do stuff at my workplace doing this really sort of tapping into that and it's a real honestly it just gathers momentum it just just persists and it's not always going to be easy but just consistently doing it just just builds that momentum and just just do it just continue it won't always work you'll fail a lot which i have i've cried i've laughed i felt really sad but ultimately i've just kept moving forward very slowly but it just keeps going just keep going (laughs) 